guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gary Kushnerovich and I am a high performance tennis coach and I'm here to help you level up your game. I know I haven't really been posting much the second half of the year, there's been a lot of things going on in my life, but I just wanted to drop this amazing highlight reel of Dingles points. So Dingles is a really fun game that you can play with four people on the court. Uh, what you're doing is you're playing two singles points, cross court, or you can play them down the line, in the videos here, we're playing them cross court, so two singles points are being played at the same time. Uh, alleys are included. When one of the points ends, the winner of the point should, but either player, calls dingles to notify the other two players, and then that second ball becomes a doubles point, and you play the point out. In order to win a point, one point, you have to win both the two singles points, like the your singles point, and the doubles point. So you have to win both of the points to count as one point. And you can play it up to five, like we do. We played uh, three out of five sets up to five, and then we also played two out of three sets up to seven. Uh, extremely fun game to play with four people on the court. I hope you enjoy these highlights and our reactions. This is a group of my friends that I love to play with. Great group of guys. Uh, and I'll try to include some, uh, some clips along the way. Look to poach, especially on balls when your opponent is stretched out of the court. The strongest position in doubles is when both players are up at net. Look to close along with your partner to apply pressure on your opponents. looking for your opportunity to approach. It doesn't mean that you're always going to win the point, but the pressure you're applying is going to pay dividends. 6-4. In general, the person who has the forehand should cover the middle. I messed up. When your partner gets lobbed, look to cover their half and move across so that they can move behind you. In this case, I was too slow. If you're targeting a net player when attacking, target their right hip or right shoulder. It's the toughest ball to defend. If your partner is rallying, stay active. Look to close the net and apply pressure and maybe take advantage of the opportunity of a floating ball. Watch out. Got it. Yeah. Ah! 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 
When your opponents close the net, sometimes the smartest play is not through them, but over them. Spread your opponent short, then play through the middle. Smart tactic. Smart play after you lob your opponent. If they aren't effective with a shot, drill it back at their feet. about bottling great sometimes you just have to be a wall and be able to bunt and block the ball and then move that wall Getting balls can be effective. Illy is a master. When your opponents are both back, a nice simple Bite volley that moves off the court can be very effective. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all got a lot of value out of the video and the highlights. I promise to be much more consistent with posting content in the coming year. Uh, and I hope to bring you guys a lot of value and a lot of information to help you guys level up your game. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to ten tune in next time where we're going to be providing a ton of more information for you guys.